What actually happens in your brain during migraine attack? We all know migraines can be incredibly painful, but what's really going on in there? During a migraine, certain areas of the brain become hyperactive, leading to abnormal spikes in brain waves, starting often in the visual cortex. This triggers what is known as cortical spreading depolarization, where neurons briefly go silent in an abnormal wave that spreads across the cortex. When the pain neurons are stimulated, they release calcitonin gene-related peptide, CGRP in short. CGRP binds to its specific receptor, which is typically found on the surface of blood vessels. CGRP causes the blood vessels in the brain to expand and also leads to inflammation and increased sensitivity. This sensitivity is most obvious in the trigeminal nerves. This sends pain signals to your brain, causing the throbbing pain felt during migraine attacks. Migraine treatments that we have today targets these CGRP molecules specially. They are known CGRP blockers. There are two types of CGRP blockers. One, CGRP monoclonal antibodies like frimanezumab and eptinezumab work by binding to the CGRP protein itself. This prevents the CGRP from attaching to its receptor site. CGRP receptor blockers like erinumab and rimejapant work by occupying the CGRP receptor. As a result, the CGRP protein has no place to dock, and so the migraine activation process is inhibited. Of course, it's always best to discuss specific treatment options with your doctor.